it's back-to-back -back episodes of Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. The Place. Ex Middle School Safety Patrol. The Patrollers. I'm Cornelius Fillmore. This is Ingrid Third. Join Ex Middle School's finest for a whole day of crime fighting and orange sash crusading. The Fillmore Marathon, Monday at 10, 9 central, right here on Toon Disney. some funky fresh moves. Captain Crino! Skate Lad! Woo Girl! Timo Supremo! Shouldn't you children be in school? Come on, Timo! Supremo, I've lost my patience with you. Don't go away. Timo Supremo will be right back on Toon Disney. Enemy sighted. Power level maximum. She's Mira Nova. Ah! And this power-packed princess can fly through walls. Didn't know I could do that, did ya? See all the Space Rangers in action on Buzz Lightyear of Star Command today at 3, 2 Central on Toon Disney. Time for some new heroes. Sonic Heroes. 12 heroes, four teams, one new game that never gets old. Rated everyone. GameCube. I'm playing the tricky 14 pole when Josh says, <clears throat> I had Reese's for breakfast. Oh. Oh, man. Candy for breakfast? No. Reese's Puff cereal. Every bite is like a Reese's cup. Soon I'm driving right into a whirlwind of amazing chocolate and peanut butter taste. Reese's Puffs, a winning part of this good breakfast. It looks good. It looks very good. <laughs> it's Reese's for breakfast. We're the kids at 3rd Street, and if you want a piece of us, you better bring your A game. It may all look like funny games, but to us, it's more. It's Reese's. Kids will be talking about this when we're a nice baby 10th grade. Tune into Reese's weekday mornings at 7, 6 Central on Toon Disney. And now, back to Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. Oh no! Look out! There is no escape. That's what you think. Chica! Oh. oh dear. Nice move. Indeed. Very nice, Hector. Now try to evade this one. Get ah! out, Hector! You're in for it! Come on, blue guy. Move it! No way! What happened? This looks fine. Maybe the game just crashed. That's a shame. I find playing video games most relaxing. Oh, well. Back to the sodium chloride mines. Hey, kids, we just got word that... Oh, man, the level 7 video gaming system's on the fritz? Yeah, we think it crashed. Ooh, I'm afraid it's much more serious than that, skate lad. This is Polly Pixel. She's the creator of world-renowned video games like Yurt, Robo Sloth, and Kung Fu Feuding. Ooh, those are some great games. Yes, but apparently Miss Pixel became so frustrated with people using so-called cheat codes to defeat her games that she's now sworn to ruin video games for everyone. Using the code name Electronica, she and her deprogrammer buddies have been causing game systems all over the state to go kablooey. And with a state youth gaming expo only a few days away... Electronica must be stopped. 
Yellow, you got your gov. What? Acrimony in the arcade district? That must be electronica. Afraid so, kids. She and her deep programmers are cutting quarters, blanking screens, and wiping out high scores. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. We're on our way. That's right, deep programmers. Destroy them all. This will teach those gamers to try cheating electronica. Not so fast, Electronica. Simo Supremo, have a cobalt blast. Bazaar! Yeah. Watch where you're pointing those pointy things. Perhaps you should watch where you point your rope. Power up! <laughs> Deep programmers, reset! This arcade district's been deleted. You're not getting away that easy. You said it, skate lad. But <laughs> Foolish Timo, I'm Electronica, and I always get the high score. Huh? Bye-bye, and thanks for playing, Timo. Hey, Timo. What happened? Electronica short-circuited our super tools. Oh, dear. That's not good. I'm sure it's nothing you and Mr. Paulson can't fix. I'm not sure Paulson's up for fixing anything. Huh? He's terribly stressed from his quantum mechanic experiments. And the video games he plays to relax still aren't working. Yet another ill-effective Electronica's diabolical game. Do you think working on our super tools can snap him into it? It's worth a shot. That's 3.1415926533. Excuse me, Mr. Paulson? Five? Paulson, Timo needs your help. Yeah, Electronica busted our super tools. And I'm not sure how to fix them. Like Rope Girl's rope. Now, do I just need to replace this chip, or does the entire board... 8979. Is that some kind of techno speak? No, he's still calculating. Mr. Paulson, you need to relax. Three, two, three. Uh, Samantha? We really need our super tools fixed if we're going to defeat Electronica. Well, maybe I can use Paulson's notes to fix your super tools. According to this, Paulson used the MX-45 to calibrate the gyros on Captain Crandall's yo-yo. That doesn't sound right, but that's what he wrote down. Hey, kids, how are the repairs coming? Uh, Samantha? I think they're good to go. Well, just in time. Electronica struck again. This time, it toys a-poppin'. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. We're back in action. Yes! Yes! Wreck them all! My cobalt blacks should corrupt these games for good. There's nothing good about destroying things. Unless you count dashing the hopes and dreams of evildoers everywhere. You again. That's right. And this time, you're going down. Reset! Our work here is complete. That did not go as planned. You're telling me? We still gotta try to catch my board. I'll be glad to help. Once I find my rope. <laughs> ah, things are going even better than I could have designed. Not only have I succeeded in ruining video games for everyone in the state, but Timo Supremo seems helpless to stop me. You got all the right moves, Electronica. Yes, and once I pull the plug on the state's youth gaming expo, gamers everywhere will wish they never tried to outsmart Electronica's designs. <laughs> Say, Timo, what's a four-letter word meaning to end? That's easy. Quit!
Which is what we'll have to do if we can't get some video games back online for Mr. Paulson. Come on. There are lots of games you can play besides video games, like checkers, hangman, or even crossword puzzles. Oh, yeah. I forgot about those. Indeed. Thanks, Jean. Sure, Crandall. I have to know this stuff if I'm going to be a first-class game show host someday. Three, two, seven, nine, five... Hey, Mr. Paulson, we have a new game for you. A, g a game? I I want to play. Okay, here's your controller. And here's the console. This game is called Tic-Tac-Toe. Hmm. I seem to recall this game, but it's been a while. Now, let's see... was delightful. So relaxing. I wonder if we could play it in three dimensions. Oh, oh, well. Don't go to sleep, Mr. Paulson! Yeah, we still need you to fix our super tools. Sam can do it. But I tried to fix them using your notes, and they didn't... The notes were just for the prototypes. Trust your instincts, Sam. Trust... <sighs> Okay. Come on, Timo. Let's get you back in action. Okay, Timo. Try these on for size. Hopefully, these will work just as well, if not better, than your original super tools. Looks good. Now let's go. The Youth Gaming Expo is about to begin. Now, which of these games deserves to be destroyed first? How about your game of revenge? Step away from the game controllers, Electronica. And try not to tangle the cords. Clearly, you've never played Super FX Video Baseball, Timo. Or you would have learned. Three strikes, and you're out! Timo, scramble! These programmers, get them! What if we get them first? Whoop! <laughs> Foolish rope, girl. Your rope's no match for my cobalt blast. Looks like Samantha really did make our tools even better than before. Blast it, Cobalt Blast! Blast them! No more blasting for you, Electronica! My gloves! My... Oh, my! Give it up, Electronica! You'll have to catch me first! She's trying to escape through the yurt maze! Zats, she designed that game. I used to play yurt, and there was a secret passage. Right about here. <gasps> Game over, Electronica. No! You cheated! No, I didn't. I just used the shortcut that you designed. Blast! Foiled by my own ingenious design. All right, Game Gal. Let's go. Great work, kids. You sure showed that Electronica who's got the power. Thanks, Governor Kevin. So why didn't Electronica's Blast ruin our super tools this time? Well, my instincts told me to add Cobalt Blast Shielding to your super tools. Your instincts serve you well, Samantha. Thanks, Captain Crandall. Take that, blue guy. No, blue guy! Evade! Evade! <laughs> oh, man. And Skate Lad, my instinct is to never challenge Paulson to a video game. <laughs> Go away. Timo Supremo will be right back on Toon Disney. Are you ready to catch one of the hottest toys in America? Introducing the incredible Hover Disc, the amazing flying toy of the 21st century. This gravity-defying saucer is so cool. You've never seen anything fly like a Hover Disc. Toss it like a flying disc and it just goes and goes. Push it and it flies like something out of this world. Bounce it, bank it, fly it, push it. 
toss it, tap it. Hover disc is totally cool. Invent tricks, play games, let your imagination soar. Do freestyle tricks and your hover disc performs awesome acrobatic stunts that are unbelievably cool. ABC News says it's the hot new toy. It's the hover disc. It floats, it flies, it defies gravity. It's the incredible hover disc. An amazing three feet across, yet safe indoors. Hover disc is made of a high strength material developed for NASA and is designed to last. It's strong and durable. Use air or helium, it's refillable. And it can be used again and again. Call and you can get this spiral hover disc for $19.95 through this special TV offer. And you'll also get over 100 glow-in-the-dark stickers absolutely free. This is your chance to get one of the hottest toys in America. It floats, it flies, it defies gravity. It's the Hover Disc. $19.95 for the spiral Hover Disc with the free glow-in-the-dark stickers. But wait, now you can get the Alien Hover Disc for free. That's right, two Hover Discs for $19.95 on this special TV offer. Helium not included must be 18 years or older to call. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-510-9449 to order the amazing spiral Hover Disc. With your paid order, you'll also receive the Alien Hover Disc and over 100 glow-in-the-dark stickers absolutely free. You must be 18 years old to call. That's 1-800-510-9449. 1-800-510-9449. And now, back to Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. And so, because many different plants and animals contribute to this series of eating and being eaten, the food chain provides sustenance for our entire planet. Yes, Crandall. Do food chains work differently on other planets? Crandall, I have seen no evidence of food chains existing on other planets. But what about... That's all for today, children. Don't forget your homework. Our ecology quiz is tomorrow. That ecology stuff is really cool. Indeed, Hector. It's amazing how large beings depend on small beings for their very survival. Speaking of large beings, there's the chief. Good afternoon, what? chief. What the? Oh. Shouldn't you kids be at school learning something? Like how not to sneak up on people? School's done for today. Do you have any homework? Sure, but... Then why don't you run along and do it? How's the fishing going, chief? I don't think there's any fish in here to catch. What do you mean? We've been getting complaints about fishing all over the state, so I thought I'd investigate. Holy mackerel! I got a bite! Looks like the bite's got a cheat. No time to lose, Timo. Root me, Brenda! <laughs> We'll save you. Thrusters overheating. Gee, yo! What kind of fish did the chief catch? Hold on, I'll find out. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Yeehaw! Got me a real big in this time. Let's hook it up to old Wilma. The police chief knows do good guppies. Timo, what's up, mother? Release the chief now, strangely dressed fisherman. Oh, yeah. Release him, huh? Yeah, you mind doing honors and that? Well, sure. <laughs> I reckon we either got us some dumb fish or some smart bait. Yeah, well, I reckon we got both. <laughs> <laughs> Zach. Oh, man. Who was that guy? I'll tell you who he is. He's... The Angler, also known as Billy Jim Dixon. Billy Jim Dixon was the star of the hit TV fishing show, Fishing with Billy Jim Dixon. Never heard of it. Yeah, what happened? 
Well, it turned out that Billy Jim's remarkable fishing ability was due to his friends, the fishmongers, hiding under his boat and hooking store-bought fish onto his line. Furthermore, he was guilty of lip-syncing his fishing tips. Naturally, Billy Jim was yanked from the airwaves and had his fishing license revoked. It happens too much. After his show was canned, Billy Jim Dixon shortened his name to The Angler and swore he'd have his revenge by cornering the market on fish sticks. Oh, no! Fish sticks are yummy! You said it, Rope Girl, and nobody should have to pay too much for them. Ah! But how is he going to do that? Yeah, he'd have to catch all the fish in the state. That's what we're afraid of, Timo. It seems the angler has come up with fishing lures that fish can't resist. Thanks to the chief's mishap, we were able to analyze the smart bait that hooked onto his line. The smart bait is, shoot, a self-propelled device that actually hypnotizes fish, luring them into the angler's nets. Until we can come up with an even smarter bait, capable of saving fish, the angler might be unstoppable. Have no fear, fish fans. Timo Supremo is on the case. without a license, angler! Who's doing that? There ain't no fish left in this here stream to catch. <laughs> After them! Whoop! <laughs> Don't go away. Timo Supremo will be right back on Toon Disney. Brit Spitz Sandwiches features a delightful taste of cheese. Ritz-Bitz crackers! Cheese rich bits sandwiches. More mmm in the middle. Just thought I'd jump in. Do it. Oh, it's on. Don't worry. Get, get out of there. I'm on. You're going. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Fillmore. Every night except Friday on Toon Disney. Fillmore out. Snack. Lizzie, how you feeling? I went in. You gotta be in it to win it. I'm thinking there's no way you can stop me. Girls got game. These girls got game. I think that's pretty cool. Watch them play. Saturdays only on ABC Kids. The Place. Ex-Middle School Safety Patrol. The Patroller. I'm Cornelius Fillmore. And this is my partner, Inga Third. I'm on it. The job. We'd like you to come with us. From 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., join ex-Middle School's finest for a whole day of crime fighting. Busted, you guys lied. Mystery solving. Well, how exactly do we spot a saboteur? And orange sash crusading. Freeze! Your party's over. The Fillmore Marathon. Tomorrow at 10, 9 central, right here on Toon Disney. And now, back to Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. Yeah look at all them fishes. And they're all mine. Now, if anyone in the state wants to make fish sticks, they're gonna have to come to me. Think we got enough fishes, Bailey Jim? Don't be an ignoramus, Jed. We'll never have enough fishes. You hear? Never! But, Bailey Jim, we done took all the fishes from every lake, river, and creek in the state. Yeah. There ain't no more fishes to be found nowhere. Oh, yeah. I knows where we can find us more fishes. <laughs> fish in the barrel. Er, boss, that's because we was catching fish in the barrel. Nobody likes an egghead, Zeke. Stop stealing those fish! 
Well, looky here. If it ain't Timo Supremo. That's right, Angor. This time you've gone too far. Too far? Why? I won't have gone far enough till all the fishes everywhere are mine. Mine! Mine! We will never let that happen, Angler! He says it is wrong, and we don't like you. What's that? stolen from our state aquarium. It's so unsportsmanlike. Yeah, and blech, sure a lot of bugs lately. More of them all the time. Pretty weird, huh? Indeed. Perhaps Mr. Paulson can explain this. Yes, Crandall, we've been following the situation closely. By stealing all of the state's fish, the angler has removed an important link in the food chain. Yeah, no more fish sticks. It's more than just fish sticks, Brenda. You see, Fish eat snails, leeches, maggots, and insects. So that's why there's so many bugs lately. Yes, and those pests often carry dangerous diseases. Hey, kids, more bad news. The angler's just been spotted in the state harbor. Looks like he's trying to catch all the fish in the sea. That's not good. Every animal in the sea, great and small, depends on the presence of fish. This could create a global catastrophe. Bummer. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. I have a plan. Mr. Paulson, I'm going to need a slight adjustment to my level 7 voice modulator. Once we take all the fishes in the sea, I'll control all the fish stick factories on the planet, and then we'll be rich! Yeehaw! Not so fast, Angler and his fishmongers! Not you once again. Let's get them real good this time, boys. <laughs> Time to use my new and improved level 7 voice modulator. Attention, sea friends, this is Captain Crane. Your assistance is requested. The human who is stealing all the fish must be stopped. Skate lad, rope girl, you round up the fishmongers. We'll take care of the angler. Wait up! Forget it, Inge. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> You'll never catch the angler, kid. Maybe I won't, but he sure will. <laughs> This is one fish story the state will never forget. How's about that? A fisherman caught by a fish. Y'all know if that's an example of irony? Actually, that giant squid is a mollusk, not a fish. But that's only one of <laughs> many common misnomers that's applied to our friends of the deep. For example, do you realize that dolphins and whales aren't fish at all? They're mammals and... Uh, interesting stuff, Paulson. Now move it, angler. Righteous work, Timo. The state thanks you, and so do its fishes. I don't know all their names. We couldn't have done it without our aquatic allies. Great assist, sea citizens. Sam and I will return these helpful creatures to their natural habitats. Go to it, V. Now, hopefully the fish have developed an appetite, because these bugs are bumming me out. Don't worry, sir. I'm sure the food chain will be back to normal in no time. Speaking of food chains, I'm hungry. Anybody in the mood for fish sticks? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm serious. Oh. Next, it's Timo Sup.